welcome to the Turn Clean Services blog number one of what we will call Trash Out Cleaning. In this video, we're going to take you through a turnkey cleaning from start to finish. In blog number one, we're going to do the inspection. First thing we're going to do is arrive at the property. 42 is the number. And you're going to take a deep breath because you never know what's on the other side of these doors. Okay, well, I'm happy to see that when they left, they did at least sort of box their stuff up. That's good news. I've got a shoe here. If anyone wants to grab that shoe, feel free. But let's inspect the place and see how bad it truly is. Uh, I've certainly seen worse, but in this one, so we've got a mattress that needs to be trashed. Let's walk into the kitchen. Yes, the beloved kitchen. Interesting. All right. One of the things I like to do is pull out the drawers and let's see what's left in these drawers. A lot of times you'll get hair, you'll get sugar. Sorry, you can't see that very well. But we want to go through all of them. While this is dirty, I've certainly seen worse. Let's take a pan of the kitchen. This is always the nerve wracking part is opening the fridge. You never know what's in these refrigerators. I've seen maggots, mildew. Oh, in this case, uh, not certainly seen worse. We've got a bit of cleaning out to do here. That really doesn't scare me at all. That's fine. We'll make that look great. Let's check out the oven. All right, so this is a greasy oven. How would you like to move into this house? The first time you go to cook, that's what you see. We're going to make this thing look brand new. You'll be amazed how good it looks. All right, well, I don't want to make the video too long, so we've got this. Let's move into the bedroom. I'm just going to do one bedroom for the sake of time. How do people live like this? I mean, it's just, it's just nasty. <laughs> But, I guess their dirtiness is my job security. So we're checking out the baseboards. One thing I noticed earlier when I was, uh, the window sills. I don't know if you can see with the light, but those need to be cleaned. Uh, one other thing I noticed is when people have dogs a lot of times in these rental houses, the dog hair will get stuck on the baseboards. So that needs to be taken off. And so we got a few. Last thing we're going to look at is the bathroom. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so this one's not very pretty. Look at that sink. Ugh. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we've got a world class tub here as well that needs some work. Dare I open the toilet? Dare I? Okay, all right, so you can see video blog one, uh, it's dirty, but the Turn Clean Services, this is what we do. So stay tuned for video blog two as we begin trashing it out. Hi, and welcome to video blog two of the Trash Out Cleaning for Turn Clean Services. In the last video, you remember we talked about just how awful the house looked, but we have completed the trash out. If you look over here where the mattress was, we've carried the mattress, it's gone. We've begun getting all of this junk that's in the house. In a little bit, we'll see the, the bedrooms. But we're in the middle of the process we call now the deep clean. And we're in it, and this is where we're at. Come on in the kitchen. So we're about halfway through this kitchen. Um, you'll see stuff everywhere. Uh, the, the first thing we like to do is the appliances. If you wouldn't mind, let's take a look at our refrigerator. I believe this is the most important part of the turn clean because when you're selling a house or you're renting a house, the first thing you do is you walk over and you look in the refrigerator. So let's see what the refrigerator looks like now. And you can see that that refrigerator is spotless. Actually proud to say my, my wife cleaned this refrigerator and did a great job. 
Okay, so then after we, we do that, we want to check the cabinets. As you look in this cabinet, you can see that there's there's like a sugary powder thing. At least we hope it's sugar and powder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ought to wash my hands. Something is in this, uh, this flower. So we, we want to wipe out these cabinets. That's, that's one of the priorities. We're going to check the, the washing machine. The dishwasher. The dishwasher, excuse me. And this is an area that's, that's huge to me. It's we'll often... I don't know. If we can, can you see, see it? it? A little bit. Okay. Anyways, there's a lot of goop we'll get in this area, so we want to take care of that. And we'll just work our way around the kitchen. I don't want to make the video too long. The last part of the blog is the deep clean of the oven. Um, this oven we pre-sprayed with oven off. And this is the product that I prefer to use. It's heavy duty. The smell will just about knock you out. But it's, it's awesome. Um, I spray the whole oven down. I let it sit there. And then and it's actually sat for, for hours now. And I want you to watch what happens. So this grease that was so hard to get off now, I mean, it just wipes right off. So it's pretty amazing. All right, so we're in the middle of video blog number two, the trash out cleaning of the kitchen. And we'll check in with you later. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, visit turncleanservices.com. He just did the first two blogs concerning this house, and I'm going to do this third blog and show you some of the work I did yesterday on it. Um, I started cleaning it after he had already trashed it out and brought all the excess junk out of the house. Um, I did the baseboards in this room. There's a lot of hair trapped on the baseboards, and then um, I, I mostly, a lot of my time yesterday was spent in this bathroom. Um, this sink was absolutely disgusting, and I was hoping to get it, um, spotless, but unfortunately someone tried to paint the sink, so I'm unable to get the paint out. But other than that, it's been cleaned, and, um, the, I, I swifted and, and got cobwebs out, and cleaned this toilet. Um, what is the purple stuff in the toilet? The purple stuff, um, it's fabuloso, and it gives a great smell, and it's another cleaning product. It's a pretty popular product you can find okay. um, at the gro grocery store or any store. Um, I went around all the little baseboards again. They were just clogged with all sorts of junk. And I cleaned the tile and the bathtub and the faucets. Um, once again, someone tried to paint this bathroom, paint yeah. the tub, um, and unfortunately sure it doesn't look as good as I'd like it to look. It's so odd. <laughs> but there's nothing I, I can do to get that paint up unless I scrape with the paint. I don't even, I think it would ruin the tub. And I don't even know if it's it paint or if it's enamel, but yeah, something yeah, odd Yeah, someone tried to do something with okay. it. Okay. And I wiped down, there was a lot of really bad fingerprint marks all over these doors. Um, and I tried to get them very presentable. Mm -hmm. And once again, I followed the baseboards wherever there was a lot of hair bunched up. I wanted to get that. I went around all the bases. I remember a particular spot with tons of hair. Let's see how she looks now. Oh, yeah. That's a better look. That was an easy spot to get. Okay. Um, and I always clean where the windows are, just in the windowsills. These had some mildew growing, um, and I wiped it all out. It came right out easily. So what, and then I put the put the blinds up a little bit so that when people come in they can see that there's no bugs hiding out underneath the blinds. Um, of course, and in a house like this, you're just going to have some permanent marks that even after you clean it, you want it spotless white, but those permanent marks will stay until they're, it's painted. So, okay. um, and once again, I wiped all the 
the door fingerprints and I think this house should be, I mean this room should be good. Adam is giving me the signal so I must okay. be done. Okay, so you. where do you want to go if you want more information about turning houses and turnkey services? Um, www.turncleanservices.com Awesome. I Thank love you. my wife. Hello and welcome to the final blog of our trash out turn service. Okay, as, as you remember, chapter uh, apartment 42 was full of junk. It was just terrible. And this is the after product. There's not a light in here, I'm sorry to say. All right, let's walk into the kitchen and see what the kitchen looks like. Levi, take, pull, open that oven for us real quick. Wow, look at that oven. Brand new looking. If you remember that oven was just horrible. All right, will you open the dishwasher, sir? Dishwasher looks good. Okay, pull it back up, quick, quick. Hold on, wait. One thing I always like to say is it's important for our cleaners to clean right in here because a lot of uh, grit will get right there and they'll clean the whole thing and forget that and it just messes it up. Okay, the most important thing is the fridge, and it does look just brand new. Wow, good job. Okay, all right, let's look at the drawers. Do they look good? They do. All right, the last thing we're going to look at is the bedroom and the bathroom. If you remember this carpet, we just had the carpet cleaned, and I mean, if you... Remember this room, it was just filthy. Now if we walk around the room, we can see, you know, all that terrible baseboards look better. And I love the fresh shininess of just the, the triangles and how much better they look. You can see the window seals are displayed nicely. We like to stage our homes. And last, we're going to look at the bathroom. This is an old bathroom, so you were cleaning a bit of an old bathroom, but it just looks so much better. And then, of course, one of our staples is putting purple in our toilets. So you know, whoever the first one is to come to this toilet, it's the first time it's been used. All right. Well, that completes our blog. Thanks for taking this journey with us as we trashed out this apartment. We would love to help you in any way that we can. Uh, visit TurnCleanServices.com, and we can tell you about our deep cleaning, our trash outs, and our carpet cleaning. Thank you and have a great day.